everybody, Anthony Alfredo here, and welcome back to another track lap with Fast Pasta presented by Logitech G. We're at the virtual Darlington Raceway in Darlington, South Carolina on iRacing. First thing we're going to do is roll off pit road in preparation for this weekend's races. You see how weird it is because there's so much pavement here and space at the bottom of the racetrack, but the actual racing surface that you compete on is much more narrow than that just because it's where all the banking is in the corner. So we're going to enter turns three and four here and get up to speed so many different ways you can approach this racetrack. That's what we call a Darlington Stripe right there. I had to start the video with a little tap of the outside wall. You're going to see that all day long in all the races here. Turn one and two, super weird. You just roll in here with a ton of speed, drive the car up the hill, up to the wall, pedal it a little bit, then make sure you're pointed for the exit, come back down the hill, straight off the corner. That's actually been repaved a little bit off turn two as well. Turn three and four is super fun. You can even run all the way down beneath those hash marks on the apron like this. It's a lot of grip down there, believe it or not. Uh, but you just give up so much momentum on the exit anytime you run the bottom, even if you run another lane or two up. The most of the speed is going to be had by running up by the wall. You can kind of chop the apron like there to straighten up your exit in turn one and two. Like I said, get pointed for the exit. Come off the corner, tires wear extremely fast here. The surface is like a cheese grater, but the track is still super fast. You can enter in the middle and kind of roll up to the outside wall, or you can enter right against it, but you can turn down off of it. You'll see the momentum we're gonna carry off the corner on the tracker. We'll do one more lap to show you a different approach in uh, three and four as well as one and two here. You can enter with a little bit of more arc to straighten up the center of the corner. Have to pedal a little bit. Rear tires are struggling for grip. Come off the corner. Steer away from the wall. It gets so narrow right there. That wall turn to eats a lot of people up. I know I've done it before. Enter right on the wall so we get that added side force. Packing that air on the right side. Ripping the cushion. Darlington stripe right there. Oh, we overcorrected into it. But we came back off the top side. So that's one of the things that happens if you get into the wall. Sometimes you almost get glued to it. So you gotta be aware of that. Uh, but super cool track. Uh, really fun. Hard to pass in this corner just because if you're on the bottom, you kind of get pinched down. But three and four is where most of those passing, uh, is, most of the passing zones are available on entry and exit. So roll in here again. We're going to try to roll the top side a little more patient this time. So easy to ask for too much. Just like this. Much better, except for we got the wall again a little bit on the exit. It'll sneak up on you here for sure. Um, but be ready for some really exciting races this week. And this is one of my favorite tracks, and I hope you all enjoy watching.